Midnight in Salem was released in December of 2019 to widespread hate and critique, with some people calling it the death of the franchise. I think that's a bit extreme, though to be fair I never finished it because this is what it looks like running on my laptop. The idea that because this game was mid, that it somehow shows the future of this series is kind of dumb because I don't think there was that kind of outrage around Ransom, and Jesus Christ have you even attempted to play that game? Oh, well, probably not. My point is Nancy Drew has always had weak entries, I know many fans wanted a good game after the 4 year long wait, but given the circumstances behind it, I don't see how anyone can look at what we got as anything other than a miracle. The fact that we even got a new game in and of itself is a miracle, and I honestly was hoping for a much larger shitshow. The rollout of mid definitely could have been better if her did anything except what they actually did. Whoever edited these trailers wanted this game to fail, I swear to god, but I think the May teaser might have set fan expectations a bit too high. I, like many fans, waited patiently for the game to come out in 2019, and I actually got my copy in early 2020. I tried playing the game on my family's PC, but it overheated, tried it on my laptop at the time, and it crashed. And finally, my new laptop can run it at the lowest settings possible. Now don't get me wrong, I'm glad that graphic settings were included and I love playing games in 4x3, but maybe the game should run well when your main demo isn't exactly gamers with a capital G. And look, I get it, her isn't really a company anymore, it's more or less just kind of the Nancy game publishing house but I know that there was so much potential with this game and the new engine. I mean, take out the 360 view and make the item icons a bit more distinct, and the game easily goes from a 4 out of 10 to a 6 out of 10 for me. Ultimately, I'm glad this game was as experimental with the series as it was, and I'm glad it received the backlash it did. I think it's gonna lead her into refining the new engine and making game number 34 as appealing to fans as possible. Now to address this point, did Nancy Drew fall from grace? No, they just made a bad game, something they do a lot, honestly. Ransom is a torture simulator with racism added on to sweeten the deal. Scarlet Hand is as boring as they come, and for as much as we love White Wolf, it's just a never-ending cooking simulator. Nancy, at its core, has always struggled with capturing that perfect balance of interesting plot lines, good characters, and rewarding puzzles. It's managed to do it a few times, one of which being Sea of Darkness, the game that came right before mid. So I don't really think it's a matter of, can they make a great game again? I think it's a matter of, when will the next great game be? Like I said, I think mid shows potential of this franchise's future, and we're kind of in a Nancy Drew renaissance of sorts right now, so I'm sure her is doing everything they can to capitalize off of it and get game number 34 out and on online store shelves as soon as they possibly can. That's just my opinion on the Nancy Drew fandom as of late, and I think mid really united us against the common enemy, but I think it ended with us thinking we're entitled to nothing less than a perfect Nancy experience. I don't know. I hope game 34 is something better than 33.